Hello, hello. I'm going to show you how I cut my hair. I've been cutting my hair for a couple years now, uh, since college, and you're thinking, oh, you're going to cut this for us? We're so interested. And actually, no, I'm growing that part out, but I will show you how I cut the sides. To get started, though, we're going to go over the supplies I use, one of them being a cat. Yeah, so if you hear her crying, she likes the water. Okay. First thing, though, Okay, so this microphone stand, fairly simple. Done music in my past. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put this mirror right in here. So that way, as I stand here, I can see the back of my head. So this is really the main part that you need. If you wanna cut, see, there she is. If you wanna cut your hair <laughs> by yourself, boom. We're already there. Okay, and then for actually cutting the hair, I have two different things that I'm using. This is an old razor. I really just use it for this thing to touch up the sides. Uh, it's good for around my ears, sideburn area. Doesn't hurt as much as, say, this one does. Uh, this one, I've got a guard on it. It's actually supposed to be for your beard, uh, but I have it set at about five millimeters, so that's what I've been using it. Uh, overall, these are really great. Important to note too, or good to note. See, they're both Philips Norelco, which means that the chargers work for both of these. So if I ever get any more of these, I'm gonna stick within this brand just because I now have like three chargers and I'm never short of the chargers. But overall, these tools work great and I would suggest them. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to use is this hair oil. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. That's what it looks like. Uh, basically, I use this after I shower so my hair isn't all puffy and frizzy. But if you look up uh, tutorial videos or just online articles about cutting long hair, they always mention, and this happens even when I do it, as you cut closer and closer to this line, it cuts some of this hair. So, for example, when I started this, it was probably only to like right there and it's grown because each time you buzz your hair, you get some of the long hair caught up and then basically you'll have no hair um, <laughs> exaggeration but still that's the idea uh, so what i do is i'm going to put my hair up and then grease all of this just around the top corner so that it is up and out of the way of the razor and so that it does not get hit so that's what we're about to do now before even doing that yes you got to put your hair up and i would suggest taking off your shirt because these fine hairs ruin you Okay, so now I've got the grease added in all around. You look closely, it looks all gross. Uh, as I said, I just like to do that because if not, these little hooks of the razor get caught little by little as you go. And then by the time you take the bun out and run your fingers through, a ton of your hair is falling out and it is really scary. So I would suggest using something to grease down the corners it will be worth it. Okay, and then you think, where do we get started? How do we do this? Uh, I would suggest that you wanna start by cutting the corners, basically get your border good to go. Because if you cut it really short, it's then so short that it's hard to see which lines you're making. So currently I've got sideburns. I'm actually gonna get rid of those for this. And then I'm gonna follow it around in the back and just make sure I've got clean, let's see, focus, I don't know clean lines just going all the way back. Um, I actually touch this up pretty regularly, so it should be pretty clean, but I'm also gonna make sure there's no hair on the back of my neck and upper back, because I think that's gross. Uh, but that's what I would suggest. First step, go around the border. And to do that, I'm gonna use the multi-groom that I've already mentioned. I'm actually gonna take off the guard so we can get a nice clean and sharp uh, border trimming with this got sideburns taken care of and then I went through and cleaned up the sides uh, you'll see I'm all pink my skin gets super irritated by this kind of stuff uh, it's a whole different shade haha <laughs> uh, but basically we're good to go and we're gonna put back on this thing and get started this part is actually a lot more difficult because when I start doing it it looks like I'm going bald and then that kind of freaks me out a little bit uh, but it's one of those you just got to dive in and just go for it and then hope that afterwards it looks good. 
Okay, so now at this point I'm basically done, but I want to show you an important thing. Sorry, there's just hair everywhere. Um, you can really see it in cameras, but see this dark spot? In real life you can't notice it that much, but especially in camera, or, or maybe you can notice it, I don't know. Basically what that means is that is not cut enough. So I need to go back, you'll see especially around the ear, these dark dots. These are not moles. <laughs> It's chunks of hair that are not the same as the super shaved part. So I need to go back and try and get rid of those. Or with scissors, you can kind of do, because usually as you go up here, you risk cutting into this hair. But what I've been doing is like holding it back like that and then using the razor uh, or the trimmer to go around. Um, this side I struggled with more because it's my left, my non-dominant. And yes, I do use do use my left hand. You just kind of learn as you go. Uh, it's not as easy as your dominant hand, but you just go really carefully. Um, and with time, you, you learn how to steady your hand. But also, I'll point out, as you can, well, it's such bad quality right now. Ooh, there's a dot that needs to be shaved, I think, too. Uh, but it's so light that you can't even see the border. So that's why I mentioned I do the border first, because then the hair, in like just a few days, it'll start growing in and filling in the border that I already cut. And then just as I go in between your cuts, I'll make sure I clean up that border once I start seeing the hair <laughs> again. All right, so I pretty much got it. You can see a little bit, but it's fine. I mean, it'll grow, see so look even a little more right there. It'll grow out uh, pretty quickly. One, two days tops, it'll start filling in. You'll see though, these wispy hairs, that's bad. That's exactly what we did not want to happen. But look, it already has a bit. <laughs> gross uh that's like the scariest reveals when you take this out and you're just like Gah! hair falling out uh, you do lose a lot of hair though in general every day uh, from there though i'm gonna shave my face so that it'll be all clean take the hair out shower boom we're done pretty fast okay, so i cleaned up my face looks super nice in real life uh we're gonna go from there and we're gonna take out the hair and see how much hair i lost which is, is always sad and kind of shocking, but I'm also quite used to it now just because that's what happens. And because remember I said I put that grease, I don't lose nearly as much as I would have. So we'll pull it out, check and see. Really not bad at all. I already showed you some of the other chunks, ugh, gross, uh, that have fallen out. And then in general, long hair, every time that I do this, probably before I shower, and I've got a brush too, don't worry. Not that uncivilized. Uh, but every time you do this, you do lose a bunch of hair. So a lot of this is just from all over my head that's coming out. Uh, but overall, boom, 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 boom. Looking good, and we're gonna clean it all off in the shower. Blah. And then boom, just like that, it's all cleaned up. All the gross hair that was everywhere is gone. Uh, it is super short, the five millimeters, so it does look kind of bald. In a day or two, it'll grow in and look nice. So I always say if you're going to like an event, which we can't at this moment, uh, April of 2020, but cut your hair probably two to three days before in case anything bad happens, as well as it'll grow in and then have a nice, like you just cut it look, but also it looks perfect. So you obviously did not just have it cut. Yep, that's it. Okay, and here we are post shower, post cleaned up and clothed and let me just say yes I know I'm skinny, yes I like to eat, I eat regularly and yes I've tried eating a lot to gain weight and it didn't work. Uh, besides that though, cutting your hair yourself is a lot of fun. You feel really great about yourself like whoa, I just did that myself. Well good job, clap 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 and people around you uh, in normal life will think that you spend a ton of money getting your hair cut all the time if you keep up with trimming it every two or three weeks. Uh, so it's impressive, looks super clean cut, and you look well put together. It does look pretty shocking, because it looks like I'm bald. Uh, but that's part of the look, right? Yes! In the bun.